Yeah, whoa, hey. So you guys want to be as cool as T-Pain and learn how to use auto-tune when recording songs? Well, I'll teach you in just a few basic steps. All right, I'm going to be demonstrating how to sound like T-Pain using GarageBand 09 for the Mac. Any form of GarageBand will work as long as you have a microphone built in the computer or a separate one, such as this one. Okay, first thing you're going to do is open up GarageBand, clearly. Choose voice. All right, once you have your new project opened up, you're going to want to choose vocals and whatever effect you want to use. I'm going to use pop vocals, for example. All right, now all you do is record your clip. All right, let's get recording now. Press the little red button. Yeah. Never thought I'd be on a boat. It's a big blue watery road. Now that you have your voice recorded, all you got to do is go to the bottom left corner of GarageBand. Click these little uh, scissor thingies, whatever you'd call those. This little thing will pop up. You find the little enhanced tuning bar, slide the ball all the way over to 100%, and select limit to key. Now all you have to do is play back your clip and you'll sound like T-Pain. Simple, right? Yeah. Never thought I'd be on a boat. It's a big blue watery road. Poseidon, look at me. Whoa, whoa. A very simple thing to do and it sounds really cool in any music. All you have to do now is put a little beat or some kind of music over it to make it sound amazing like this. Oh, yeah. Never thought I'd be on a body. It's a gross little brown ass zero. Charmin, come help me. Whoa, whoa. Never thought I'd see the day with this much light coming my. I already messed up. That's embarrassing. That's my own song, too. Wow. I hope this video was very helpful for you. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Help me out, you know. I'm a poor little boy just trying to have some fun on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, see you later.